Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today I'm doing a Queen & Co project using this foam front kit. This is the Solo Butterfly Foam Front Kit. It comes with two complete sets to make two foam front cards. So you get your foam front, of course. You just punch out the negative part of the butterfly. Well, I guess it's opposite. So with the foam fronts, um, typically this would be your negative piece, but um, we're going to call it the positive piece. Um, it has adhesive backing on the front and the back, so all you have to do is peel and stick. It comes with two card bases, four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and then it has your um, card front with the die cut out butterfly there, and then it also comes with two acetate sheets. So two complete sets, um, two four-piece sets. So we're just going to use one set today. We're going to save the other one for another card. But what I want to do is trim down the foam front because it covers your entire card base. Now this is optional. You don't have to do this, but I always like a little bit of a white border. So I'm just going to grab my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim down a quarter inch off the right side here. And then I'm going to flip it and take a quarter inch off the top. Now since I'm doing this to my foam front, I'm altering it. Now I have to alter the card front and I have to alter the acetate. So I'm layering them both together and I'll do the same exact thing. I'll just take a quarter inch off the right and then a quarter inch off the top. And then this way my card base will have just a little bit of a white border and I always like that. We're going to save those because those come in handy. <laughs> okay, now leaving the die cut piece on the inside, we're going to do some stenciling. Well, I'm going to grab a brick stencil for my stash. Now, I have some new to me texture paste, and I have to tell you I love this stuff. I'm just going to tape down my stencil to my front panel here. Um, texture paste is so neat, and I'm loving it, and you'll probably see me use this a lot but it has a consistent consistency of um, frosting um, and if it gets on your hands it's kind of a little bit gritty too. I'm just going to spread this all over the top portion of my stencil covering my entire card front. Um, the nice thing about the texture paste is you can actually color it so you could you if you have watercolor inks I bet you could add that to it to tint your texture paste to any color you want and um, when it dries, it dries a matte finish, and you're able to go over it with um, your, your with um, some sprays, your colored sprays, um, even your distress inks, and that's what I'm going to do today. But once that's all done, I'm going to carefully remove my stencil from my my front panel here, and then I'm going to remove the tape. The nice thing about this is the cleanup too. Um, it cleans up with soapy um, soap and water, which is wonderful. Just using my hand, I'm going to rub it um, along the edges of my card front. That way there's no sharp edges. And I just love the texture that that gives. And you can see that um, that die cut piece in the center um, stencil beautifully also. While that's drying, we're going to work on our card base. I want to add a little bit of color behind my butterfly. So for this, I'm going to use my Distress Oxide ink. This is a Squeeze Lemonade. It's a real pretty yellow and I'm being careful not to go along the edges because I want my, the edges of my card base to be white. Now I'll just remove the release paper off of my foam front here and we're going to place that in the center of our card base. Lovely. Okay, now since this is a pretty um, large butterfly, I didn't think I'd have any problems um, adding my toppings or my sequins to my butterfly. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper, but carefully going around those um, antenna um, or antennae. I'm not sure which how to say that, but because <laughs> um, it's a very delicate area, you just want to be careful with that. Now we're going to go ahead and add some toppings. These are sequins too, topping mix, and they are wonderful. This is the first time I get to use them. They come eight in a pack in a rainbow of colors, and you can see here I'm trying to add it and I'm getting my toppings on my foam. And so I'm not, I shouldn't have removed the release paper just yet. So I'm going to grab it again and place it right on top. 
that way I don't have to fussy with uh, my toppings going on my my sticky foam front there but these sequins are neat because they have two different um, shapes or two different sizes of stars hearts flowers and regular sequins so they're just beautiful so I added yellow orange and green to my butterfly and I thought since there's no sequins inside my antenna I thought I'd go in with some of my diamonds pastel toppings I chose the clear ones so this way they can travel up into the antenna adding a little bit of sparkle in there also I just removed my release paper again and now I'm going to add my acetate cover right on top and these foam front kits just they're great price but they also make making shakers so easy <laughs> okay next this is just about dry it's still a little bit wet but I think it's workable so I'm going to carefully punch out the um, I guess it the butterfly in the center there we go <laughs> and we're going to use that for our second project but I love that brick background I think it with the white I wanted to keep it white because of my butterfly is pretty busy and I wanted it just to pop a little bit against my background so I'm adding some tape behind my front panel and I'm going to place that right on top of my shaker lovely now for my sentiment I'm using the butterfly stamp set from Queen & Co everything that I use today guys I'll leave links below in the description area but um, using my anti-static powder tool on some black cardstock I'm going to ink up the happy birthday sentiment and stamp it with my Versamark ink and then I went ahead and added white embossing powder and now I'm going to go ahead and melt that I'm just going to use my paper trimmer and block that off so we're going to make a birthday card here I'm going to add a piece of foam tape behind here and then I'll go ahead and place that on my card base these are pretty easy cards but I think the outcomes are just so pretty it looks like you spent a lot of time on them <laughs> for bells and whistles I decided to add a few of the star sequins in the yellow color and then that finishes off my first project I think that the colors are really bright and vibrant and fun <laughs> but here's some close-ups okay now we're going to use the negative piece of our butterfly and again I thought well we could go over the top of it with some more distress oxide ink I'm going to start off with squeezed lemonade I'm going to go over the bottom with some spiced marmalade and then I'll go over the top of it with my twisted citron and then just using whatever's left over on my um, yellow blending tool I'm going to blend those colors a little bit better right in the middle and I think that creates a real beautiful butterfly okay now I cut out a panel that's three and a half inches by four and three quarters I'm actually going to place it on my card base and then I'm going to actually stick down my butterfly this way I know where to place it I wanted it overhanging just a bit now all I have to do is rem remove my release paper and then add my colored in butterfly and it fits right on top beautifully and I love how clean those edges look um, versus just using um, foam squares I think that just looks so fun I'm just gonna tape this down to the center of my card base now this is a card base that I grabbed from my stash it's four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding um, like I said earlier I wanted to save my second kit for another card <laughs> but I stamped the sentiment from the same butterfly stamp set that says thinking of you and I just blocked it off added a little bit of tape behind it now this I want to add some sparkle so this is some sparkle string it's my favorite it's the white one because it has a hair uh, iridescent hue to it um, the ends do fray so I just tuck them behind my sentiment now I'm going to add a piece of foam tape behind this I just looped them around my hand and then looped them around my sentiment but popped it up on placed it on my butterfly there added a few sequins I added some green to the top and some orange on the bottom so this was a clean and simple card kind of an abstract -y kind of a look but I really like the outcome so these are the two projects I made today with the Queen & Co's foam front kit called solo butterfly again links will be in the description area if you're interested they are available at a great price guys but I wish you a fantastic day thanks so much for joining me we will see you again real soon bye bye